The Holy Spirit is at work in us, empowering us to witness to Jesus. Friends, this is Sister Noemi Vinoya sharing with you today's reflection on the Gospel from the Gospel Power. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have said these things to you, to keep you from stumbling. They will put you out of the synagogues, Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that by doing so they are offering worship to God, and they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you about them. Historically, by the time the evangelist John put his gospel into writing, the ejection of Christian Jews from the synagogues was already an actual experience and not merely a future prospect. The synagogue authorities, alarmed that some fellow Jews believed Jesus to be God's only begotten Son, dispossessed them of their Jewish heritage and bar them from synagogue worship. But at this moment of crisis, when Christian Jews were stripped of the rich symbolism of their Jewish faith, the Advocate, the Spirit of Truth, came to their aid and made them recall how Jesus reinterpreted the Jewish feasts and institutions and declared that their purpose was fulfilled in his own person. Thus, through the Holy Spirit, tragedy was turned into grace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of good health and peace that we have enjoyed for so many years. As we find ourselves in this time of crisis today, we ask for your divine intervention and mercy to be upon each of us. Come and guide the minds of those working to discover a treatment to the COVID-19 virus. Grant them wisdom, knowledge, and clarity of mind, so that all peoples will be free from the threat of this ailment. We also pray for the healthcare workers that are standing in the front line of this battle. Father, we thank you for their hearts of service putting the needs of society before their own, generously responding to the cry of your people. We ask that you will grant them strength and protection as they give of themselves in selfless service. May you fill them with your Holy Spirit as they work to be your healing hands and feet. Father, we also surrender to you all those who have been afflicted with the virus. Grant them your healing grace, merciful Father, so that they may recover swiftly and continue to be witnesses of your love in their lives. 
Mother Mary, we ask for your intercession in this great time of need. Cover each of us with your blue mantle of protection, so that we may be preserved in good health, to continue to glorify your Son, Jesus Christ. We make this prayer through Christ our Savior and Redeemer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.